Hello, I'm Chris Schunke, the Product Manager for the Red Hat Learning Subscription. In this video, I'll be showing you the features of our Premium Tier to help you maximize your learning experience. All users that access the Red Hat Learning Subscription start on the home page. And in here, they can see all of the newest features, functionality, courses, and exams that are released. They also have access to a quick dashboard of the remaining hours they have in their labs or exams or student guide downloads. Users can also access the courses they've been working on so they can jump right back into them as quickly as possible. We're going to start this demonstration though in the catalog where new users and existing users will start to access their courses. If we look here in the catalog, there are plenty of filters so that you can access the exact content that you need. For example, we have courses, exams, and expert extras. Expert extras are supplemental video content. We'll get into that a little bit later. For now, let's focus on courses and let's filter by specific Red Hat products. For instance, OpenShift. We can also filter by categories and available languages for those courses. So let's look at DevOps, English courses with OpenShift, and you'll see there are a number of them here. All courses come in up to three different modalities. There is the read modality, which is our student guide. There is watch, which is our video classroom, and there's schedule, which is our new premium tier offering. All right, so let's first take a look at the read modality. This is what we call our role-based courses, Red Hat Online Learning. And what you see here is text and image-based content. There's a progress bar at the top so that you can move through the chapters, a table of contents if you want to jump to a direct topic, and a lab environment on all of our courses. Every single Red Hat Learning Subscription course is based around labs where you're working with actual Red Hat software to complete tasks. Working in this software is going to be the best way for you to learn the topics that are happening in the courses. There's lots of content in here that you can read, quizzes that you can take, but ultimately, if we jump ahead, there are guided exercises which you will follow these instructions in your lab environments. There's also a comprehensive review where you'll go through all of the content that you learned in this course and prove that you know how to do it in these same labs. If we go ahead and create the lab, it's gonna take a little bit of time to spin up, but this is building virtual machines that you'll be able to use throughout the courseware. We include tutorials of how to use our labs if you ever get stuck. Here you see all of the virtual machines building. We have an auto stop functionality you can increase this if you want your labs to go longer than the one hour that they're set at. Stopping a lab does not mean that it's destroyed. It just means that it is paused. This will stop your lab counter from continuing to go up. We also auto destroy our labs after seven days so that it doesn't take up resources or waste your lab hours. You can also increase the auto destroy if you do need more time on your labs. As we let these labs build, let's take a look at a few other features that we have in our courses. You can download the ebook, which is the exact same content that you see on the course tab. And some courses are offered in many different languages. It all depends on which course you're looking at. Some courses also come in other versions. Our versions are based on the software version that you're learning about. So currently we are in OpenShift 4.5, and so this is version 4.5 of the course. We also offer OpenShift 3.9 for customers who are using an older version of the software. Some courses are also translated. For instance, if we take a look at this course in another language, you'll see that it's all offered in that language we changed to. Again, translations will vary depending on the course that you're viewing. So let's return to our lab environment and see if our virtual machines have completed. And you'll see here, that of all these machines, they are now all active, which means we can go ahead and open the console. Now, depending on what part of the course you're in or what you're learning, the course will have you open up different virtual machines. To do that, simply click Open Console, 
and you'll see that open in another browser. You can close that tab to close down that console. You can also perform other actions on each of these machines depending on what's going on in your lab. For instance, you may need to shut down specific machines or power them off or even reset them. All of these actions are available on each machine. If you have not completed your lab, but you are done for the time being, make sure that you stop your labs by clicking stop. This will shut down each of these machines for now so that you can return to them later. This will ensure that your lab timer is stopped. Now remember, these are not deleted, so you can go back and launch these labs again so that you can pick up where you left off. Now, when you are done with your labs, you will want to delete them so you can get rid of all of that information. Note that any deleted labs cannot be recovered. So that was our role-based version of the course. I'm gonna go back to our catalog and let's look at the watch version, which is our video classroom. Our video classrooms include our instructors teaching the content from our role-based courses. So this offers a different modality of this courseware to our students. So AD183, as we see here, this instructor here is teaching this same course content, but they're offering some additional examples, demonstrations, and other things that will help you understand the content in addition to just reading it. So this gives a lot of flexibility to our users for the ways they want to consume the content. The same exact labs are available, whether it's a video classroom or a role-based course. There's some additional options in the video classroom, including the table of contents here that offers a certificate of attendance once complete, as well as the ability to download your ebook from here, as well as a search function within the video classroom. So if we search Java for this whole course, you can see it appears quite a number of times. So you may know what courses you need to take, but oftentimes you're not sure where to start. If you know your product, you can certainly pick the products that you want to learn about. But the Red Hat Learning Subscription also offers you skills paths. Skills paths provide a set of courses and exams that lead towards Red Hat certification. So for instance, if you are interested in being a Red Hat Certified System Administrator in Red Hat OpenStack, these are the courses and exams you should take in order to fulfill the requirements that you need to know how to pass this Red Hat Certified exam. If I wanna follow along with a skills path, I simply need to click Enroll, and then this will add it to my homepage. So let's go back to the homepage, and you can see that there are skills paths here that I can follow along with, and this percentage is based on all of the content within this path. So this really helps focus users on the certification that they want to achieve. Going back to the catalog, let's look at the other two delivery formats we have. We talked about Red Hat certification exams, and those are available in our premium subscription. You can see we have 32 exams, and to view them, simply click the View button, where you can see all of the prerequisites, details, objectives, to know if this is one that you want to take. With the premium subscription, you get five unique exam attempts, and then two unique retakes. So you can take two exams, two times, and then three other exams. Simply enroll in this exam, in order to be brought to our exam scheduler where you will schedule your exam. The last piece of content is expert extras. Expert extras are supplemental content that you can view based on the product that you're interested in. So you'll see they're simply videos, but they offer a lot of additional great content from our Red Hat experts on various subjects. For instance, you may be interested in OpenShift, and again, let's choose DevOps. So you'll see there's quite a number of videos here for us to look at additional topics about OpenShift and DevOps. And we can select from many different um, categories here, and you'll see there are 212 expert extras currently. The last modality I wanna talk about is the schedule modality, which is our premium option. So if we are interested in this course, we can click schedule, and we will see a list of sessions that are available. This course is divided up into four sessions, and each session is about three hours in length. 
If we're interested in one, we can see what chapters are talked about in that session. For instance, session one talks chapter one, session two, chapter two. And if this is something we're interested in taking with a live instructor, we simply click schedule. There we're brought to our scheduler where you'll see all of the available options. This session is only available once on our schedule currently on August 9th at 1.30. If this is something you're interested in, simply click and say schedule. All sessions will end up on your homepage under the My Virtual Training Sessions. You'll see I have a number of sessions scheduled here. Any session you want to reschedule, you can simply click and choose another available option. If none are available to you and you want to cancel this offering, simply cancel from here on your homepage. Once it's time to take the session, simply click View, and you'll be brought to the session's details. You'll once again see the chapters that are part of this session, the instructor teaching it, as well as some important notes about how to set up your labs. Once you've set up all your labs and the session time is ready to start, simply click Attend Session to join our virtual training classroom and sit for three hours with our instructor as they walk through this content. After sessions are over, we advise you fill out the survey so that we can improve your experience. Any resources related to this session are available here, such as the ebook that you can download and follow along with, links directly to the course content itself, as well as an FAQ. If you're just interested in live sessions, you can go to our live session tab and view what's available. All of the courses that have sessions available will be seen here in this catalog. And you can also filter based on categories, as well as the instructor, languages available, as well as dates. So let's say you're interested in a session in the next two weeks. Well, we'll see there's a number available here. You can also choose times. If you're available at specific time periods during the day, you can choose those based on your local time zone. From here, you'll be able to see the sessions and also click schedule. Another option is to schedule all of the sessions for a course. You can see that this course has 10 sessions. So instead of scheduling each of those individually, I'm gonna go ahead and schedule all. You'll see that all the ones you want included are here as well as the next available time. If you do not want to include a session, simply uncheck the box. Clicking Confirm will add all of these sessions to your schedule. The dashboard in the learning subscription will show you your progress thus far. There are some metrics that show you how many videos you've watched, pages you've read, and some other interesting information about your usage. You also have access to the courses you've taken, how far you've gotten in them, and some filters that will help you hone in on the exact metrics you're interested in. For instance, if you wanna see all the labs you've worked with and how many hours or just the courses, you can do that from your dashboard. You can also look at just the live sessions to see the live sessions that you've worked with. Any course that's complete, you can produce a certificate of completion. So let's look at all of our courses that are completed and go to get the certificate. This will bring you to our Red Hat Learning Community where you can download your certificate. For our premium offering, we also have a certificate if you've attended all of the sessions. Until then, we offer a progress view showing you here what's been done. Any scheduled and attended session will allow you to produce a progress report. Another feature of your premium subscription is the early access. This gives you access to courses as they are being built by our curriculum team. These courses will have a way for you to produce feedback to our course authors so they can improve the courses as they're being built. You'll see that some of the content is not here, but there is content also available in many parts of the course. So you can get a sneak peek of the content that's being produced and offer your feedback to our course authors. Another feature of the premium subscription is access to our chat experts. With this chat window, you are able to contact our support team for many different issues. Technical support, help with your exams, or help with your live sessions is available. Also, if you're having trouble with the course content itself, you can contact our experts and they will assist you with course content. Thank you so much for viewing this demonstration of the Red Hat Learning Subscription.